Hey, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna do an art tour of my paintings and I hope you like it. I've been working on my paintings for like 20 to 40 hours a week since last year in April. Then I had a, a little break from like one or one and a half month. And then I started again and then things started to come together finally because I was painting all kinds of different styles, but I finally found my style and my process. So from now on my paintings will definitely improve fast. But I want to show you the progress from very bad paintings to quite good paintings. I'm just gonna show you some paintings. Uh, this is Marilyn Monroe, uh, it's not a really popular photo, so you might not recognize her, also there's some things wrong, small things, that I can fix easily, but I had to let it dry before I could go in again. It's like 95 to 90% finished, because I like the black and white with the colored background, for a change. The only thing I really have to do is... The shadow has to be darker here, and uh, here it has to be a little bit more round, and this brush stroke is way too big and not blended on this side, that's why it looks kind of off. This is also a painting I have made, it's a little older, I didn't find my style yet. Oh, the lighting, how should I keep it good? Oh, the lighting, oh, this is good, okay, wait. Oh, fuck, fuck, I was waiting for the nice light to come because it was really like dark clouds this morning and now the light is there and now I have this <laughs> oh, I'll try it again uh, no oh, I have to keep it like this or something I hope you can see it because it's not you can't see shit like this oh yeah, something like this, yes. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this painting. This was the uh, first oil painting I did. It was a really cheap paint and I made mods and I didn't understand it. I thought I was really not doing a good job, but it was also the cheap paint. It was way too cheap, it was not good. The colors were off, they were not pigmented at all. Uh, then later I bought some more expensive paint, but not really expensive. It's still study paint, but then I went over it all, and then it finally came together. It's uh, I first made this like freehand, and then I made a photo of it and added it on my phone, and then I added this, and I was like, oh, I kind of like it. I don't know what it really wants to say, but something like fly away or something. <laughs> But I like the colors, uh, I also see some mistakes because it was my first oil painting. I made this in, in April uh, last year, 2021. My uh, most annoying part for me that I don't like about it is that I used too much blue. I could have used some pink and purples, you know, in the dark spots. Maybe some dark greens also. And I then used uh, white, grey or black that much and I should have used it a little more, especially some black in the shadow parts, but I was always too afraid to use black, but now I ain't anymore. And it looks way better when you use a little bit of black. If you mix it with another colour, then it still goes back or forth. Because black and white are neutral colours, so that's what I also have to mention. But I do like that it's 3D, like it has contrast, you see the depth, so that's what I did do right. For the first painting, I can't complain, it's 80 by 60 centimeters and on a linen compass. Then I got this painting. I really, really like this one. It's one of my favorites still. 
know, there's some things wrong, maybe, you know, to yellow face and stuff, but it's also nice with the painting, I don't know. It was also, what I remember, my first big portrait. I was really bad at painting big, and still am, because now I'm painting 29 by 29 centimeters. Goes way faster. Well, I'm just not used to it. Oh, the lighting is a little bit better, but I can't keep it straight. So then it's not, not good. She really has some expression on her face, so I really like that. So as you can see, maybe, I found my style last year already, but I was still like, it's not good enough, so I was trying a lot of different things. But I came back to that style, because that is my style. Okay, now the little ugly painting that's still not finished, it's one I struggle with a lot. Well, I don't judge. <laughs> it's so, mm, I don't like it. I don't like any of it, but I will improve it. Also, I didn't use black hair, and I could use a little black hair and hair because there's way too much colors and not, it's not quiet and peaceful and in balance or whatever. And it's way too pink, purple, and I don't know. There's a lot of wrong with this one. And the horses uh, look like shit still. Because I painted them way too small and it's really difficult to do the details in uh, that's such a small uh, part. Okay. But I was reworking on it. And so it's good. But not now. Because then I'm probably frustrated. Now I have abstract. I was thinking I had to do something with a little less color. A uh, more, yeah, relaxed one for old people. I don't know. Now that I have something with not that bright colors. Oh, uh, can you fucking focus, you? Camera doesn't focus anymore. Okay. I see some things in this. I just went for it. I didn't have a plan at all. Uh, here I see a face reaching out, you know. And then here's some mountain <laughs> with mist or something i don't know but i was feeling this one i don't know why it's not focusing damn it but it's big and i don't like to paint big so the smaller ones are definitely better but i thought big both in bigger houses, so more wealthy people will buy big ones, I thought, but I have to just do whatever I can do the best, right, so that was a mistake. Oh, I really like this one, like, I want to make some uh, Thaya Stanton uh, style, and uh, it worked, I really like the colors. And on this one I kind of did a lot right, but maybe the face could have been more detailed, more 3D, but overall I really like this one. I hope it sells for a high price, because otherwise I wouldn't sell it. At least 350 or more. Uh, honestly, I would uh, want to ask more, but I'm still a beginner, so it's probably not going to happen. Look at the depth. And I have the complementary colors with each other, you know purple, with the yellow, and the orange, with the blue, and you know, I really like this one. Let's give you a little close-up. But it was a struggle, though, because I didn't have a plan, I just started. And, uh, sometimes it's better if you have a plan. But on the small canvases, I noticed that it doesn't matter because uh, I only have room for a face and a little bit of abstract. I don't have to really think about it that much. Uh, this one I don't even want to show because it's just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have 
This one is Phoenix, it just happened to be there. That's why it's so far to the left, because I didn't want it like that. If I knew I was going to make Phoenix, but I was just doing something with watercolor, and all of a sudden I saw a Phoenix in it, so I finished it like that. And, uh, I really like the drips underneath the Phoenix. It's really nice. I think maybe the Phoenix could have been a little less orange and yellow, but at the same time it should be like that, with maybe a little less hue. And more... Uh, less bright colors. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. I got this one. It's a personal painting, I don't even know if I want to sell it. It's also very abstract and not realistic at all. But I called this painting Faded, and that's why I thought it really goes with the theme. It's about a relationship that's faded, he's looking this way, she's looking that way. No, I did the orange and the blue I really like. I like these colors together, with gold also. I wanted to keep it this way and the abstract things around it are really nice uh, and it's hard to see on this camera I'm pretty annoyed maybe I should find a better place to show it I don't know here I got another one this was an acrylic painting I started oil painting since last year April but acrylic painting I did a little, little bit longer. As you can see this also my style already. It also has high gloss but it's not as bad as the oil paintings. Uh, yeah there are a lot of things wrong with this one. I think it's a little muddy this uh, sunset even though you don't see it that good. Maybe if I come closer. Nah, a little bit, you know, the, these spots could have been better. But I, I do like the team and what it wants to say, what it wants to say. With, because for me, it means that the girl is longing to a man that isn't really there, but she's feeling him. And with those feelings comes this, and the inside from the third eye, and some trips, you know, just to make it a little bit more intense and whatever. I still like this one. <sighs> Me wanting to start, like, I'm gonna try to show it on the couch. Because the lighting comes from the side then. I don't know if it's better. But I hope it's... I'm gonna grab my paintings. Uh, this one is already in my style, but... Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. The, the face and stuff. It's uh, a little bit uh, off. Uh, too green. Um, yeah. Oh, this is also not really good lighting. I have to fall further away also. But it's better than it was. Yeah, now it fits. I don't know what it wants to say. I did use a reference for the face, but I didn't do that good of a job. <laughs> and the rest is uh, just abstract. But I don't want to change it, because it's my progress, you know. Okay, now I have an abstract again. I do see a lot of faces in this one. Cartoon faces. Oh, dust and stuff. Oh, it's already collecting dust, you know. Here is a face. Here. Then, uh, oh, I have to look at it again. Then, Oh, you can't even see it. Okay, here's a face, then here's a face, then here's a face, here are the eyes and the mouth. And then here's also a face. <laughs> and you can also turn it. And like this, it also looks good. I don't know if it looks good like this. Yeah. Oh, it can. 
it's possible. I like this. Goes all the size, kind of. But with this one, I think too much color as well. I had to have a little bit more of a balance. With this one, I did all a prima. Oh no, 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 I'm mistaken. I did all a prima, but I also went over it again because I thought the colors could go a little bit less blended or something, but I don't know. I like it, but it's not my favorite. And here I have some small paintings. This one uh, is not stuck in the canvas, so it's it's gone a little up. It's not full, the full painting, uh, but this is an abstract, acrylic abstract. I did it a longer time ago than a year. I don't know when I made it. But also a little bit around that time. Uh, this is my first uh, animal in oil paint. This is with the old oil paint that was not good. The, the other painting was my first real oil but I don't count this one really because it, the colors are just muddy. You, you can't see it that good, but it's not not the same as this. You know what I mean? It's just quality. Oh my god! today why um just some happy flower painting whatever it was not that, that much time or something that's in this one but i still like the color still could have used some black white and gray again that was one of my mistakes i saw later oh this one uh, definitely not my style but i thought it was funny uh, I had so much difficulty with this letters because to paint it straight is really difficult and I still uh, did so little th some things wrong oh yeah and this one uh, is you see the green here that's definitely a mistake but to keep all these lines straight it was so hard I'm never doing this again but later I saw that some people just print it and put it on there, it could have been way easier, I don't know why I made it such a hard job for myself, but... And uh, this one... <laughs> the face, that's a bit of a, really annoys me. The rest is kind of good, but the face is way too colourful. <laughs> but I do like this. Well, I don't know what really wants to say. I can think about a lot of things, but I just start them. It goes like this. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be hard to sell something if someone asks what uh, does this painting want to say and what is the name. Because there's some paintings I don't really know. I could say so many things. Uh, another romantic uh, portrait. Uh, yeah, this is also a personal one. The neck is too long here. Uh, <laughs> but the rest is kind of good. And uh, the depth in it, and detail, and the roses are really nice, and the drips. And, uh, yeah, this I just uh, saw in it, and it starts happening. <laughs> I do like to show the details on this one because, yeah, on the other ones also great, but this one has extra details. I'm also a little bit better in the brush strokes right now. Oh. First I didn't know what brush stroke to use before I used it, and now I do. Most occasions. This one, an other, um, underwater painting. There's a little uh, poem here about silence and stuff and love and feeling and <laughs> I don't want to write it, uh, read it to you because I'm not feeling like it but 
I do like it. It was also a struggle, but at some point you just have to finish. I know I could have done the face better, but and more, there's too much detail here and not so much detail here, but still, I, I like it. It's good. That was also a problem with me. I was just painting and painting, going over a painting for like three times or something until I thought, yeah, now I'm, I'm going to stop with this one. This, it's not really procrastinating, but it's also not really productive. <laughs> so now I'm just, at some point I'm like, no, I'm going to stop. I'm going to start on a new one. If I really want to do something later, then I'm going to do it later. Then I have a new vision about it, maybe. And um, this one, I don't really like. I think it's way too cartoony. I do like the background and the butterflies, but... Yeah. I'm, I'm noticing I'm not really selling my paintings right now. <laughs> also, I have a really big problem with that, you know. I still haven't achieved the mastery I want to have with painting, so I'm always criticizing. <laughs> This one I like, I made uh, not so long ago, I put it on YouTube as well. It's only acrylic, but I didn't want to go in with the oil paint with this one because I thought it was finished already. Normally I always do a layer of oil, but I don't know, on this one I just didn't want to. I did it in one and a half hour and I was really feeling it, so I'm kind of proud of it. Now I'm going to show a couple of small paintings. I'm still working on I want to make this one today. I did a lot of good things with this one. Oh my god, the mountains and stuff are really, really good. Then the snow is a little bit yellow, but I just wanted to put a warm color there. And I also want to put a fat layer of oil on there, so it doesn't really matter right now. But the people are too small, because I made it from a picture. But for the rest of the painting, it's really nice. Only the people have to fix and a little bit of snow, but oh, I can't wait to start on this one, really. I'm feeling it. Oh, well, let me show you a little bit more of the details. The brush strokes. And I put already a fat layer on it. Because that's the foreground and that has to be the fattest, I think. Here's Marilyn Momo again. No, this one is not finished at all, but uh, I like the classic style. The, the last time I was painting on this one, I really fucked up the shadow here. It's way really too harsh. I don't know what I was doing. That's why I quit. And I thought maybe better another time to start on it again. Oh, the lighting is not great, but okay. No, no, I'm going to show you the melon one more you probably do recognize. And, and my favorite painting that I did like a week ago or something. Okay. Yeah, this one you will recognize, I think. I had narcissists, I still have them. I will show. <laughs> It was my inspiration for the painting, you know, springtime, and she's happy on that picture. Um, I don't have that many celebrities I want to paint, but Tupac and Marilyn Monroe are my favorite ones. They are iconic, iconic and how they were, I like them. I don't like them that many celebrities, if I'm honest. Um, uh, this one, this is not my mass piece. I was just feeling it. This one I finished in two hours or something. It went really quick. Oh, oh. But everything is kind of right about it. There's grey, there's black, there's and there's colours, but not too much colours. This one does have balance. And I like the abstract things I did at the end. 
in black because mm. I was a little afraid. But after I did it, I was like, oh, this is really good. That's why, that's when I really was like, I have to use black more. This one I did last week too. I like it. It's loose. And I like it like that. And the colors are really nice. Pastel. Normally I don't choose that, but with this painting I really like it. It also has a little bit of gold and orange golds and stuff. And I don't know, I think it's finished. Because I like it a little bit uh, loose. And I know if I'm working too long on it, it's not going to be loose anymore. Now I still have some paintings that I want to show. They are on uh, the hallway, in the, in the hallway. I'm not gonna take them here. I have already too much mess with the paintings I showed you. <laughs> but I will just give a quick view. They're all not finished. And my bad ones I leave at the hallway because I don't really mind if they're gonna take them from me or something. Thanks for watching this video, uh, I hope you like my art.